After almost three months of near silence, the Hogwarts Legacy team finally has began to give us more information about the game. Along with the release date, they have now announced the collector's edition of Hogwarts Legacy, and pre-orders are finally available. Hey guys, I'm all for him, but you can call me for and today I will be looking closely at each pre-order option. We will explore what comes with each and which is the best for you. To start off, let's just take a look at the standard edition. The standard edition comes with the base game for the platform of your choice. Along with the base game, the standard edition will come with a pre-order exclusive in-game Onyx Hippogriff mount. It is important to note that this mount will be included in all pre-order options, but since it is a pre-order exclusive item, once the game officially releases, it will no longer be available. Personally, I think it looks really cool, so whether you get the standard edition or not, I highly suggest pre-ordering. That way you can start your journey with this awesome mount. The cost of the standard edition depends on your console. For PC, Switch, Xbox One, and PS4, it will cost approximately $60. For next-gen consoles, that is, the Xbox Series X, S, and PS5, it will come to about $70. Next, we have the Deluxe Edition. This edition also comes with the base game and Onyx Hippogriff mount, but on top of that, it also comes with 3-day early access to the game, and the Dark Arts pack. This pack includes a Thestral mount, which will be the only way to ride a Thestral in-game, the Dark Arts cosmetic set, Dark Arts garrison hat, and the Dark Arts battle arena. If you want to purchase this for Switch, Xbox One, or PS4, I suggest you purchase it from GameStop. At GameStop, these versions cost $70. For next-gen consoles, it does not make a difference where you purchase the Deluxe Edition. For these, it's going for $80. For PC, you can buy the Deluxe Edition on Steam or at the Epic Games Store for $70 as well. The final option we will be exploring in this video is the Collector's Edition. This comes with the Deluxe Edition of Hogwarts Legacy, a steel case for the game, and this book and hovering wand decor. This edition is not currently available for pre-order, but for the Xbox One and PS4 it will cost a whopping $290. For next-gen consoles it will be $300. We are not able to view this edition for the Switch or PC at the moment, but if costs stay consistent with the previous two editions, the collector's edition will most likely cost $290 for the Switch and PC as well. So that is each of the editions explained in detail. Personally, I believe that the collector's edition is a bit of a ripoff. I feel like for it to cost $300, there needs to be more, like a clothing item, or art book, or really anything else. In my opinion, the best choice is the Deluxe Edition. Not only are you getting a rare mount and clothing items, but you are also getting 3 day early access. And when you pre-order it, you'll get a second rare mount. What do you guys think? Do you think the Collector's Edition is worth it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this content, please go like and subscribe, then check out some of my other videos. Well, that's all I've got for you guys right now, so I will see you next time.